Okay, hey AutoCAD students, welcome back. Uh, this is AutoCAD easy number 10, and today we're drawing circles. Um, okay, so what I have on the screen here is um, the two most popular types of circles, usually that most AutoCAD users draw, and that is uh, a circle where you've been given a radius or a circle where you've been given a diameter. And um, you can see the just as a visual reminder um, what a radius is as compared to a diameter. All right, so let's get right into um, starting to draw circles. Um, up here on the ribbon, we have the circle command right here at the top. And underneath that is a flyout with lots of other um, circle options that you can use. Okay, so we're going to start with the very um, top command, which is circle radius. And what the command wants us to start off with is a center point. So I'm just going to pick a point, and you can notice that the cursor rubber bands out like it does with um, many other draw commands. And I can just pick anywhere to place the circle. And so that was the center point, and then the second pick was the radius. Um, now I don't know exactly what radius I put in because I just picked in free space. So to be a little bit more accurate, um, I'm actually going to do that command one more time. I'm going to come back up to center radius, and I'm going to pick the circle center point, and then um, on the keyboard, I'm going to type in the radius. So I'm going to type in a 1, and now that circle has a radius of 1. Okay, so let's try, for instance, if you had the been given the diameter of a circle. Um, again, we can come up here to this flyout, and notice that the second one down is for center diameter. So I'm going to pick that command, and I'm going to pick a point for the center. And as I come out, um, at this point it wants the diameter. So I'm going to type in a diameter of 1. All right, now that circle has a diameter of 1. Now if we want to check the radius or diameter of a circle, uh, there's a few different ways to do that, but one of the popular ways is to grip the circle, and then I like to right click and go to properties. Okay, so we get this properties palette over here, and at the top of the palette you can see that the selected item is a circle, and that's what's gripped. And if you come down here, you can notice that it tells us that the radius of the circle is 0.5, the diameter is 1, that's what we put in, um, and it also gives you a couple of other interesting things like the circumference and the area. Okay. Now, what you can do here in this properties palette is you can change um, any of the um, fields here that are not grayed out. So for instance, if I really wanted the diameter to be 1.5, I can type that in and do an enter, and it automatically updates to a 1.5 diameter and you can see that the radius setting is half of that. All right, so when we no longer need the properties dialog box, I'm going to close that, and I'm going to use the escape key to get rid of the grips. Okay, now let's put a dimension on our circle um, to kind of show everybody here what the actual uh, either diameter or radius of the circle is by using the dimension tool. All right, so I'm going to actually come up to um, the ribbon here, and where it says linear, if you pick that, you get a flyout, and you can dimension the radius of a circle or the diameter of a circle. So I'm going to pick the first one is going to be radius, and I'm going to come down here and pick the edge of the circle, and then pick out in space where I'd like to place the dimension. Okay, now I'm going to try diameter. So I'm going to come up here again, and I'm going to pick diameter dimension, 
and I'm going to pick the edge of the circle and I'm going to pick where I want to place it. Okay, so you can see here this has a diameter symbol. It's telling us that this circle has a diameter of 1.5 and down here this one has an R telling us that it has a radius of 1. Okay, so there are other circle options that you can try up here underneath this flyout and I suggest you give them a try um, and keep practicing with these circles and until the next video I hope you get a few circles drawn and some practice dimensioning them and you can let me know how it goes okay have a great day and until the next video keep practicing AutoCAD